whale shark, I would assume, is called a whale shark because of its size. Whales are very large and they also live in the water. Um, and so since whale sharks get so big, that's probably why they're called a whale shark. But they are shark, not a whale. They don't breathe air like whales do. The whale shark is an incredibly docile animal. Uh, they will come up. Sometimes there's a little bit of an inquisitive nature to them, and they will they'll look at you. And, but for the most part, they swim by you. And I've been very close to them in the ocean, and many many times in this aquarium, where as they come by and I'm following with a camera, they'll come. Their tail will come like that close, and they'll keep. They know exactly where I am in the water. Uh, whale sharks are known as the gentle giants. They are one of uh, the largest fish in the ocean but they eat fish about the size, or little plankton about the size of a quarter. We have krill, which is this stuff right here. And then these are silver sides, which is a type of fish. So this is the feed that they'll get in the morning. And then they'll get a PM feed as well that'll encompass krill and squid and then gel, which is kind of like a vitamin supplement. They have been uh, fed about 15 pounds of food per feeding uh, twice a day, so about 30 pounds per day. You know, they're very food driven as some of as I am. So um, they've learned um, we have four whale sharks and we have four different stations. Each whale shark has been conditioned to come to his or her station. If she accidentally or he accidentally goes to somebody else's station, he won't be fed. Whale sharks um, will eat. They will actually use their mouth and skim along the surface, kind of like a big net, and just sort of skim all that food up. And they'll collect it into their mouth and squish out all the water through their gills and then swallow the food that they've collected. The average adult size for whale sharks is around 30 feet, but uh, certainly they can reach 40 feet or more. It's very difficult to determine lifespan in these animals or their age because they don't have the, the kinds of growth rings in, in bones, they don't have bone, uh, that really uh, has helped us age other, other, other kinds of fishes. Whale shark spots are unique to each individual. They have like roughly 300 rows of teeth. All the little teeth are about this big. Um, you can tell males and females apart. Um, males have what are called claspers. Um, they're two finger-like appendages, kind of near sort of midway between their head and their tail. The females do not have them. They actually are circumglobal, which means all the way around the world. Um, they're mostly in the tropical waters or sometimes a little bit in the temperate waters all the way around the world. You can't just go out in the ocean and find a whale shark. They occur off the Georgia coast, but you probably have to sit out there for quite a few years before you were in the right spot at the right moment for a whale shark to maybe go swimming by. That has made it very, very hard to, to uh, do biology or learn about the whale sharks. Uh, where we've learned the most are in these areas where they aggregate in great numbers at predictable times, like off Ningaloo in Australia or off uh, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. They're very hard to study because uh, they're, they're, they're few and far between, but when they aggregate, we can find them by the hundreds, if not the thousands. The biggest threat to whale sharks are humans uh, catching and eating them. They are probably consumed by uh, killer whales. Uh, it's possible even a, whale sh uh, a great white shark could be a predator on whale sharks. Uh, beyond that, there's not much that would go after an adult whale shark. So it's very likely that young whale sharks are picked off probably by other sharks. But the adult whale shark is pretty much immune from, from most predators.